I'm Ryan and my life is average. So as some of you guys may or may not know, something's going on with YouTube lately, okay? Something is happening, YouTube is changing and they do this once every year, sometimes twice, three times a year, where they mess with the algorithm, they mess with search, they mess with views, and things just go crazy, shit hits the fan, and we, as YouTubers, lose our minds, and we do what we do best, and we we complain about it. Now, usually, I just kind of roll my eyes and go, okay, relax with the issues that YouTube is having, but a lot of YouTubers have been upset with this current issue, and I understand it. First of all, there's been an issue with people being unsubbed to channels that they watch for no reason. They're not doing it. YouTube is doing it for them, and then YouTube is just saying, oh, don't worry if you lose subscribers. They're just in active accounts, but then active accounts are going, uh, what the fuck? No, I unsubscribed from these accounts and I never did. So what's going on here? And me personally, I have possibly been affected by this because every time I upload a video, I lose about four or 500 subscribers. And you may be saying, Ryan, maybe they're just unfollowing or unsubscribing to you because your videos are garbage. And that might be true for everybody. Maybe people just don't like you anymore. Or they don't like me anymore, but my videos usually don't get really any dislikes or any hate comments, so to lose four or five hundred subscribers within the first hour would be pretty insane, and then I don't really lose any. So the people that are watching my videos right away are my people that have my notifications on. If you have my notifications on, you're probably not going to want to unsubscribe, so I feel like something is up there. But honestly, maybe there are just 30,000 people this year that just wanted to see me do the Bean Boozled Challenge Part 2 with Prank vs. Prank, and if that's the case, I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know, maybe one day we'll have a sequel, but that's about that. Then you have YouTube taking away views, videos will get like 10,000 views, okay, and then you go to bed and you wake up and you're like, oh, it probably has 20,000 views. No, it'll have like eight. They're just removing views. That'd be like if you go to work and you clock in, and you clock in for 12 hours and on your pay stub they say, oh no, you worked six hours. You're like, no, no, I worked, worked 12 hours. And then they go, oh yeah, oh yeah, we know, yeah, we saw that, just a little glitch. Well, you're not getting your money for it, but it, you know, just understand that we know. Like, dude, what, what the heck? The YouTube is saying that, hey, yeah, views are, are messed up. They don't really address it, and then they don't give you the views back. So videos that are getting 20,000 views in the first two hours, in 24 hours, are getting 22,000 views. And that just logically doesn't make sense. You have people like Facebook and Snapchat and Instagram who are doing their most to get views higher. And then you have YouTube who is like, nope. Send them down, okay? We're getting too many views. We need to go deeper into the negatives here. So F these guys, okay? Get out of it. And I think the big thing here with YouTube has always been a lack of transparency. YouTube has always been really bad with explaining what's wrong. You know, people will lose like 10,000 subscribers and then YouTube won't say anything for four days. People are terrified. Whether you think that's corny or silly or not, this is a lot of people's jobs and incomes and lives and like I said, that may be silly to you. You might tell them to go get a real job. But for a lot of people, this is a real job. They pay taxes. They do everything the same as a normal person would, except, you know, they sit on their computer. But that's that. So when YouTube doesn't say anything and then they're like, oh, yeah, uh, it was just you know, some, Frank fucking tripped and he had a couple keys and, you know, whatever. Well, it's, we're Google. We'll be fine. We're like, what? What? You know, why can't you tell us what's going on? If you could be more honest with us, then we would be happy about that. And that would make us not freak out as much and get scared. And there's just so many aspects of YouTube that I think YouTube and Google just don't understand. Like they just can't grasp the fact that the creators are what got people to watch YouTube in the first place. The creators, you know, when, you, when we first started, there weren't huge network things on YouTube. It was just like small, normal people, not small and like they were inches big, but nobody was gigantic and had these huge empires like they do now. And I think YouTube is obviously trying to steer away from that and go towards a more global thing, which business-wise I'm sure is a great decision, but if they acted like they cared a little bit about the people that got them some of their success, remember some, because they did a lot of things right, but when they do things wrong, I think that they should be criticized just as much as they are praised. And I feel like, whoa, 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 whoa. what's going on here? Uh, who the hell are you? How rude of me not to introduce myself, I'm sorry. I'm Paul YouTube. I run I run this website, this this YouTube thing. It's, it's, what I, it's, my, it's my job. Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't realize that this is an honor. Uh, is everything okay? No, everything is not okay, okay? All you YouTubers, okay, are complaining about the website, about YouTube, like it's your, like your damn jobs depend on it. Well, I mean, with all due respect, our, our jobs 
actually do depend on it. Yeah, 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 okay, whatever, well, yeah, well, that's great. Main reason I'm here, okay, is to talk about your video, your video right now in particular. Right, okay, and, yeah. Quick question, how did you get into my apartment? Oh, I mean, you know, we're Google, you know, Google owns YouTube, so we can, you know, we can do anything. I mean, anything, you know. <clears throat> <clears throat> Enough about that. We're here to talk about your video and everything that you're doing wrong. Okay, forget about all the other stuff. What do you mean by that? Okay, first things first, okay? You're already halfway through the video. You're halfway done. You haven't asked your audience to smash, bash, or crash that thumbs up button. Well, I personally like to wait till the end of the video because I, I feel like they won't know if they like the video until the video's over. And, and then they have a good reason to gauge it. But if the video is only just starting or it's halfway done, well, how are they gonna know if the episode or the video was good? Smash that thumbs up button. What? Smash that thumbs up button. And if this video gets 50,000 likes, I will give away my family. Okay, what the fuck was that? <clears throat> Sorry about that. I get a little carried away at times. I'm very passionate about my job. Okay, but back of the task at hand, okay, let's look at your titles, okay? You do not utilize clickbait enough. Your videos are not clickbaity, as we say here. Wait, you guys like that? I, I read all these things on all your forums that you, you hate clickbait and you, you go against it. Yes, we love that shit, okay? For instance, okay, we're looking at my notes here. About two weeks ago, you uploaded a video about a car accident. If you remember that? Okay, you entitled it like, ah, I shouldn't be alive or uh, some shit like that. Okay, here's the problem. The video was actually about you getting in a car accident. That's not okay. You don't have to tell the truth, Ryan. Just lie. Make it up. Photoshop the thumbnail, okay? Don't use real photos. Don't pee. Who does that? Just get in an accident and like a video game. Play Gran Turismo. Play Grand Theft Auto. Fucking Forza 5. I don't care. Get in an accident. Get it on gameplay. And then just say, I got in a brutal car accident. You'll trick people into thinking that you're actually hurt. And then you can put NOT clickbait in all caps in the title. Boom. 100,000 views. Guaranteed, Ryan. Get with the times, my man. I mean, I just think that's kind of immoral and sad. I mean, shouldn't it be about the content and, and how creative the video is? Hmm. Well, you know what I think is sad? Okay. Let's talk about the fact that your channel has only gone up a thousand subscribers in two months. Oh. Oh, I don't use clickbait as much as I should. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Guess what? Your channel's a flop. It's failing. We're laughing at you. We have Google meetings. Where we sit here, and we eat rice cakes, and we drink caffeine-free soda, and we go, how many did that average guy channel get this month? And they go, 300, and we laugh at you. You're pathetic. Okay, first off, that's uncalled for. I'm trying really hard to try to grow my content and be more mature and be fun and have a good time and be myself. And just because I'm not Jimmy Fallon or Ellen DeGeneres or James Corden singing in a bunch of cars with celebrities, YouTube isn't featuring me or people like myself because, oh, we're not cool enough because we don't have that network power like they do. So you guys are punishing us for just trying our best. Did you just make fun of Jimmy Fallon? Ellen DeGeneres and James Corden. Not intentionally, I, I apologize if I offend you. Look, it's just like, I see them all over my homepage. I go to the homepage and I see the same videos over and over. It's always the same people from huge late night talk shows. They have the upper hand over us anyway with celebrities and people that they can put in their search and their thumbnails. We can't do that. And us as creators are the reason why these things even exist because you know we've been here since the beginning and it's just really frustrating and i'm just really sorry I, i'm getting out of hand and I, I didn't mean to offend them but it's just really annoying hi gail yeah delete his channel i know i thought he had potential too i really did but delete it now! No, what the fuck? No, I was, I was just, I was just kidding. I was just, I told you I was frustrated. No, what are you deleting? No, please, please no, no. I'll do anything. I swear, I'll dye my hair a bunch of times, or I'll, I'll do another clown video, or, or, or I'll, I'll cut things with hot knives, or I'll do conspiracy theories, or, or, or I'll, I'll stay in a store for 24 hours. Oh, I'll mail myself. I'll mail myself to, to anybody. Uh, and, and, and it actually worked. Uh, uh, I'll do more videos about Jacob Sartorius. Uh, please, anything, anything, please, 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 anything. It's too late. Late, Ryan. The damage has already been done. Goodbye. All right, guys. So as you can see, 
YouTube is not happy with the way I'm running my channel, okay? I'm not James Gordon. I'm not Ellen, I'm not Jimmy. And that, that hurts me, okay? And maybe since I'm not cutting and seeing the inside of things, or maybe since I'm not cutting things in half, or fuck, fucking licking things, or whatever, now my channel is not succeeding, and people aren't watching, which is fine. So you know what? Let's get on their side. I want you guys to SBC this video. Fucking smash, bash, and crash. Fatally, a fatal car crash. This video, and if we get to 10,000 likes, which is a lot for me, but not a lot for YouTube to give a shit, I will cut myself in half with a knife, a hot knife, and we will see what's inside of my body. And make sure to leave comments down below your favorite color because that is stuff that is important. Don't ask good questions that take a lot of thought. Creators watching, ask everyone what their favorite color is and tell them to comment it a hundred times. Blue, 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 Money's pouring, money, money, money. Fuck YouTube.